Edie Lush, and I'm here in the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos. Very pleased to be joined by Paul Bragiel. Thanks very much for coming along. Founding partner of IO Adventures. IO Ventures. Ventures. Sorry Adventures about that. too, but yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, you're not on your adventure that you were hoping to do, right? Yes, you were hoping correct. to be in Sochi this year, representing Colombia. Yes, I was trying to make the Olympics. I dropped everything this year to pursue my larger childhood dream, but yeah, I came up a little bit short, so. Back to business now. Back so. to business. Okay, so tell me where's your biggest focus at the moment? Um, yeah, so me and my partners were focused on early stage investments. So we've built a bunch of technology companies over the last 15 years. And mm -hmm. yeah, we're kind of taking expertise and yeah, put them into the next generation of entrepreneurs. So we're doing a lot of stuff in San Francisco, but also we started funds in Eastern Europe, Southeast Asia, and a lot of stuff in Sub-Saharan Africa as well too. Let's talk about Sub-Saharan Africa. We're having a little Africa focus, yeah. Future of Africa okay. hub today. Yeah. We actually launched a digital currency for, um, for Somaliland. Okay. Uh, and so it's it's and it's all payable by mobile phone, awesome. small venture, small amounts, that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So tell me what you're doing. What are the, some of the companies that you're looking at? So in Africa, I mean, a lot of stuff. We are looking at a lot of mobile money, right? So mm -hmm. our office is based out of Kenya. So obviously, the scene success of Mpesa. There's a lot of stuff to build on top of that, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, you could transfer the money, but then all the services around it, like how do the end consumers go out there and buy, you know? Tickets to go mm -hmm. travel. How do you go mm -hmm. out there and pay, you know, pay at the checkout in a grocery store? So mm -hmm. building a lot of stuff around that. Then also we're, we're just taking a lot of things that have existed in the United States, e-commerce, and just bring them to the African market. Okay. And so yeah, we're really focusing on that. Like what kind of e-commerce? Like the eBay for Africa? Yeah, I mean we're doing that. We're doing uh, also one that's kind of like, like an Uber for Africa. Mm -hmm. We're doing also uh, just like you could buy, like I said, travel t tickets mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. anything that we seem really popular. If we see an opportunity in, in some region of Africa, we try to you know, bring it to that market. Okay, so what's coming up? So what are the things that you're looking at in, in San Francisco, for example? Uh, in San Francisco right now, though, I'm looking at stuff completely different, right? Okay. So if, in San Francisco, I'm really excited about like quadcopters and drones. Yep. I'm really interested in Bitcoin, kind of digital currency stuff, mm -hmm. and also very interested in 3D printing, right? So that's kind of taking me away from you know what we're doing in Africa, but yeah, yeah it's like kind of more of the I know, I gotta go there though, because yeah. I'm all about drones. Tell yeah. me what you're doing in drones. Um, so I haven't invested anything in drones yet, but I'm super curious with it. Like I play with them, my friends have them, we all totally mm -hmm. geek out, I mean, we're nerds, right? right. So um, yeah, we think this is gonna be really cool, and going forward, like just kind of like all the infrastructure stuff it could do, all the logistics, I think there's gonna be really kind of some big breakthroughs. Nothing has really kind of hit it yet, mm -hmm. but this technology I think will be applied in a few years, and so yeah, we're, we're very actively looking for some cool stuff there. Okay, that's interesting. Is it around the kind of retail space? There's a lot of discussion about whether Amazon Amazon was going to be dropping. Yeah, I mean, a lot of that drunk. stuff is kind of like kitschy. They had like, you know, people like, hey, there's something that drops tacos to your house. <laughs> I mean, like, this is kind of just early thoughts. But yeah, right. I mean, there are opportunities to go out there and yeah, deliver stuff or like you go to a certain place like Africa, maybe deliver medicine to people or, mm -hmm. or you go out there and just use it as kind of like, an, you know, like a logistics network. So there are potential, but the early stuff right now is just kind of talks. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I could see something happening down there, right? All right. One more question then. I want to talk to you about Bitcoin. Yes, what of are course. you looking at in terms of the digital currency sphere? Um, so for me, I'm just really curious as to like, the way I see Bitcoin is like, there's a platform out there, right? And mm -hmm. people are going to start building th stuff on top of it. So I see this kind of like when the web came out or the PCs came out 20, you know, 40 years ago, right? Like mm -hmm. there's going to make a big revolution now that you could go out there and actually like digitally sign things, actually exchange them and say, hey, I'm sending this in this one way transaction, right? So um, yeah, I'm interested to see what kind of stuff you could build on top of it. Because yeah, now there's actually value in the currency. And so once mm -hmm. there's value in the currency, you can start doing really interesting things. So yeah, we're looking to see what kind of cool companies will kind of pop out of that. Does it matter that it fluctuates all over the place, Bitcoin? Yeah, I mean, that's a problem. But um, I think that as there more and more transactions happen, Mm -hmm. it, there's going to be less and less and, and recently it's been less there's always going to be some crashes but like yeah. as it becomes more and more mature more and more people put money into the thing and actually start taking money out as well too kind of doing transactions it's going to start stabilizing so we'll see Paul thank you for our wide ranging conversation yes, from was, Colombia <laughs> to Africa to Sochi back to San Francisco where I'm from so thank you very much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion in Davos and I'm Edie Lush